Hey there, folks. Welcome back to Let's Play Pokemon Soul Silver Version. This is Ice Pick. Uh, when last we left our intrepid heroes, we uh, had uh, filled out our party a little bit. Uh, I'm going to be starting this episode by grinding up Pyramid and Puppy and Desire up to level 20. Uh, then we will proceed with the fight with the uh, with the uh, Suda Widow. But uh, I was made aware of something here in Violet City. Um, you guys know this uh, Primo dude who's standing here? Well, if you, keep, if you tell him certain phrases, he w will actually give you a Pokemon egg. Uh, and you can get one of three eggs, or all three. Uh, a Mareep, a Wooper, or a Slugma. Um... And I don't know if you guys knew that, but there's a tool you can get, you can use on the interwebs that if you put in your trainer card ID, that's uh, how you determine what your uh, thing should be. If you give him that, if you put that information in, you can look up and see what the phrases are you need to tell him to get those uh, Pokemon. Now, um, I'll leave, I, I, if I was going to use one of those eggs... I would use the Slugma Egg because I don't have a Fire Type right now. Um, but I'm not going to do it right now. I'll leave it up to you, the viewers, to tell me if uh, you think that's something okay for me to do. Uh, it would. I I think it would count as a gift Pokemon, which you know, according to my rules, doesn't count against my total. Um, but that's how it is. I'll leave it up to you guys as to whether that would be something I'd be able to do. But in the meantime. I'm going to start uh, grinding these guys up, and I'll get back with you once I've got them to the level I want them to be. In the meantime, I'll pause the recording, and we'll see you guys in a little while. So right now, one of the uh, guys whose Twitch I'm watching has been doing uh, Nuzlocke runs himself. And uh, he did a Fire Red Nuzlocke run, uh, which he wound up failing on Bill, or not Bill, Gary, at the end of the game. Um, and I did a, I've been doing a uh, <clears throat> concurrent Leaf Green run alongside his Fire Red run. And it's funny that this is about to happen because in that run, I had a neat arena. And would you look at this? I wanted to go ahead and get this on camera. I'm getting another one here in my Soul Silver run, which is totally cool with me. Uh, I took a look at the move she learns, and I'm going to evolve her at level 43, which is the level that she learns Crunch. I could keep her and and have her learn Poison Fang as well, but considering I'm going to be using her for her nice uh, varied move set, you know, farm up some coins and teach her like Thunderbolt, Ice Beam, and Flamethrower. Fire Beam, Ice Beam, uh, Fire, uh, Ice Beam, Thunderbolt, Flamethrower, and uh, uh, Crunch should be pretty much all the moves she needs. So that's what I'm going to do with her. But now she's level 16, as you saw, and I'm continuing to grind. But the grinding should at least go a little bit faster for her now, since uh, she's in the arena and got a nice big stat bump. So thanks for uh, sticking with me. I'll be back after I'm done grinding both her and my Exeggutor and my Scyther. And then we will press on, fight a pseudo-widow, etc., etc., etc. Thanks. I'll be back in a bit. Uh, interrupting my grind for a second to show you guys this stat gain. Holy crap, puppy. Twos and threes all the way down. This is going to be a really good Scyther. I'm excited. Uh, I only have one more Pokemon to get to level 20, so we'll be progressing the story very soon. I can't wait. Pausing again. I'll see you guys in a little bit. Hey, and we are done with the grind. Let's do a quick team shot. Uh, first up is Pyramid in the Neat Arena. With the minus attack plus speed nature, she's actually got 33 speed. It's her second highest stat. Uh, Poison Sting, Scratch, Tail Whip, Double Kick. I've picked up some TMs that I may teach her uh, because the Voltorb Flip is my favorite uh, coin minigame of any of the games because it's the only one that allows you to use skill which means it's fairly easy for you to farm up lots of coins, which is good because I farmed up lots of coins. I got pretty awesome TMs that I am going to teach her. Um, 
eventually. I'm not sure when I'm going to do it, but I do have a TM each for uh, 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 Thunderbolt, Fire, Flamethrower, and Ice Beam, and she can learn all three, uh, which is uh, really tempting because they're all really good moves. Next is Fedora the Bayleaf, that tank. 45 special defense, 40 defense. I mean, the attack moves aren't good, but that's some really good defense. And Synthesis and Reflect makes some great wall. And believe the uh, uh, hip, uh, Drowsy does not have great special attack. Good special defense and decent defense, but not much else. But a lot of really handy moves on her. So I'm glad to have her. Saw the Ghastly. Again, those are some... And he has the opposite problem of Believe. He's got great stats for what he needs. He's got a, a plus speed thing and high special attack, 49 at level 20. But he's got no moves. <laughs> so that's a negative. Uh, Desire's got my highest special attack, and special attack in the party, uh, which is crazy. 63 at level 20, so he's a monster. And then we have Puppy the Scyther, who is just really solid overall stats. Low special attack, but who gives a crap? Um, and, uh, his moves are terrible. Uh, so one thing I'm actually going to do right now, I got the U-turn from Bugsy and Scyther needs a good move. So let's take care of that right now. And you can see that I got the flamethrower, thunderbolt and ice beam TMs. I wish they were reusable in this game like they are in the fifth gen games. But anyhow, let's use some U-turn. Because you badly, badly, badly need this move, puppy. <laughs> uh, we're going to toss Leer because focus energy I still find handy. Particularly if you're going to get somebody who's walling. Uh, it helps to raise your uh, special defense. Or <laughs> special defense? It helps to raise your critical hit rate. So you can pierce through their annoying defensive stuff. But we are going to actually progress the game now that I'm done grinding. Uh, I'm going to be using save states a lot because of what happened to me while I was recording yesterday's video, or last night's video, which was a whole freaking lot of progress lost while I was grinding uh, the previous time and catching stuff and all that good stuff. So I'm not going to do that again. <laughs> I'm not going to let that happen again. Uh, so I got the squirt bottle. Uh, we have everything we need to wake up the pseudo widow. Now, we don't get to catch him because he's on the same route, Route 36, as uh, the, it's the same route as the one that we caught uh, Pyramid on. So I can't catch him. Uh, I have to kill him. Which is okay because Pseudo Widow, I think, has always been a really underwhelming Pokemon for me. Like, I don't have a lot of. I've never really liked him that much. So killing him just doesn't bother me that much. So, squirt bottle time! Oh, it's going to make me actually go into the menu and use it, huh? Alright then. Oh, wait. I don't have a squirt bottle. Well, shoot. I'll go back and get that. <laughs> um, I'm thinking that I'm going to evolve my Nidorina at level um, 43. I, I think I mentioned this previously. A level of 43, because she learn, learns Crunch at that level. And that's going to be like the last move I need her to learn before I want her to evolve. Oh, and would you look at that? <laughs> Good thing I did the save state. And I can actually <laughs> save myself some time <laughs> by uh, using the save state uh, in this case. But yeah, you saw that I got the black screen. My icons went away. It was bad all around. So that's the sort of stuff I have to deal with while I'm recording these videos. Anyway, let's uh, stop in here to the squirt bottle shop. Give me your squirt bottle. Yes, I do have the plane badge. Yes, I did beat Whitney, although she killed my badass snake. Uh, it's going to be a while before I recover from that. I mean, I guess I didn't need three poison types in my party, but all the same, I'm pissed off about how Flugelhorn bit it. That was such a lame way to go. Anyway, we got the, We actually do have the squirt bottle now, so let's go right up to Pseudo Widow and uh, make him angry and then kick the crap out of him <laughs> with our Nidorina. Now, honestly, that's probably not the safest way to do it. Uh, he could get a... Well, she's got 62 hit points. She'll be fine. Um, oh, Ralph wants to talk to me. What do you have to say, Ralph? 
Yesterday, a wild tentacle slipped away from me in front of my kid. I was feeling down about it until he shared his Pokeballs with me. That sure made my day. You call your mom sometimes, too. Thanks, Ralph. It is good to call your mom, everybody. Alright, so back through here. Ugh, hiccups. Pardon me. Oh, damn it, again? Ugh, this time I'm just gonna pause the recording, and I'll see you guys at Pseudo Widow. Okay, here we are at Pseudo Widow. I'm actually going to do a straight up save. <laughs> I've noticed that the freezing happens most often uh, right when I'm getting into a fight, uh, right as the fight is supposed to spawn, and when I go between areas, like when it has to load new maps for me to walk on. Those are like the three times it happens the most often. But anyway, uh, what do you think about fighting the Pseudo Widow? Pyramid is looking around restlessly at the forest. Yeah, that's about right. Time to water the pseudo widow. The odd tree doesn't like the squirt bottle. The odd tree attacked! <laughs> ah, jeez. Yeah, so it's a male pseudo widow. Fortunately, Pyramid has a fighting move. Punt. Wow, that's super effective and it does basically nothing. Her terrible, terrible, terrible attack is really hurting here. Doesn't matter though, I don't think he has any moves that can really hurt her, so. Yeah, he's gonna use double kick. That's even less effective on me than it is on you! <laughs> yeah, Pyramid doesn't have much attack, which is unfortunate, but she does have a ton of bulk. She's got good defenses and good health, which is often enough to do pretty well. Okay, that hurt a little bit. Um... Let's play it safe and put in a different uh, kind of wall here. One that'll kill him next turn. I forgot that guy's packing flail. And that stuff hurts. Just make it go away, Fedora. <laughs> good call. Good call. Down it goes. Yeah, knocked out Pseudo Widow. And she's going to give me berry pots. Yeah! I'm going to use those every day for sure. And she's going to give me some berries. Yep, thank you very much. So I'll actually have other uses for that squirt bottle. Orins and peaches. Good, good, good. I've got some others in my bag, too, I think. North here? Yeah, I'm not going to go north. I'm actually going to go east back to Violet City and uh, heal up. Because there's going to be some trainers up on that route to the north, I'm pretty sure. And so I want to make sure that I'm ready for them. So we're saving here after we do the momentous occasion of knocking out that pseudo widow. Man, I gotta save frequently on this ROM. It's just irritating. It's just really irritating. But anyhow, anywho, let's uh, go ahead and start those berries growing right now. No reason to waste time on it. Uh, can I can register two things, right? Yeah, so we'll register that one too. And then we'll use it. We don't have any fertilizer. Well, let's plant some berries. Well, plant a peacha. And then we will plant an Orin. And then we'll... Pl do I want to plant any of these? What do they do? Weakens a folks super effective ghost type attack. Well, that'll be handy against Morty. It weakens a foe's normal type attack. Well, what the hell? We'll go ahead and grow some of these. The Kassib Berry will come in really handy on the uh, uh, fight against uh, Morty because I've got a lot of psychics and ghosts. And that guy, Morty, the, I'll be honest with you guys, the Morty fight scares me. Okay. And I'm just making sure we're all watered. Okay. Very good. So that's done. So now aside from apricorns, we got berries to deal with. Ain't that exciting, folks. <laughs> But, you know, I, this is going to be the first time probably I actually use one of those lesser super effective berries because the Morty fight really does scare me since I've got so many Pokemon that are weak to ghost-type attacks. It's kind of scary to me. So I'm probably going to equip all three of those guys <laughs> with uh, the, those berries so that uh, they can at least eat one of those ghost attacks without biting it. All three of them have hypnosis, which is good. And if they go first, I'll be able to put Morty's dudes to sleep and not have to worry too much about it. But, you know, without that, it could get pretty rough. So I'm going to be glad to have those berries, that's for sure. 
Okay, we are now ready to go fight some trainers up on the next route. Oh, and you know, I'm pretty sure we'll get a new catch up there too, uh, which will be handy. Um, I would like to pause for a moment and check to see uh, what sort of things I can run into up there, uh, because I'm today is Sunday and I might be able to get one of the Hoan or Sino sounds going. And if that's the case, I'll definitely want to if there's something up there that I would like to have. I still follow all the same rules. I'll still have to catch whatever the first thing is. But that's uh, sort of the rule. Okay, so here we are, Route 37. Give me one moment while I look this up. So I really should have guessed. It's got the exact same encounters as... Uh, <laughs> it's got the exact same encounters as the previous route. Uh, but that means if I can get the Sinnoh sound, uh, then I'll get... Uh, Ah, I don't need that. It means that if I could have gotten the Sinnoh sound, I might have been able to get a Shanks. But as I stated, there is no chance of getting a Shanks because um, we're in a situation where I can't get one because we're under the Sinnoh sound. So, uh, pretty much I think the only things I actually can catch here uh, are Vulpix and Stantler. Um... And they're not a particularly high chance, so I may wind up missing on this route. Hope not. Let's find out. Okay. Actually, I got a Pidgey. I don't have a Pidgey, so I guess we'll catch this. Let's see. Start off with a scratch. One more scratch should do it. Yeah, that's about exactly where I want you. Uh, friend ball. Because why not? It's green. I like green. Got a Pidgey. All right. What is Pidgey's name? It's, too, it's really too bad. I was really hoping for a, a Vulpix because I don't have a fire type. It would have been pretty handy. Anyway, the Pidgey's name is March. Okay. Your name is March. You will go to the box and you will probably stay there because I've already got a Hoot Hoot and I would probably do a knockdown all over you. Uh, that's a Psychic. We don't want to fight them with our Poison types. But we do now have a Bug type with a Bug move. So let's fight him with our Scyther. Hey, three Apricorns. Pokemon can't do a thing if they're asleep. I'll show you how scary that is. You're not going to land a single attack on me, Greg. Oh. Oh. Oh, no. I didn't... Well, I guess I get another shot at a Vulpix, at least. Back in a bit. Here we are, back again. And this time I'll save after the result. Well, that's different, at least. I don't expect that I will use a Stantler, but it'll be cool to have one. Uh, and for those of you who are f familiar with biology and zoology, it's kind of funny that female Stantler have antlers. They really ought not. But I guess uh, they're one of those species that grows antlers regardless of gender. Which is interesting, but anyhow. Bah! It's got hypnosis. Alright, scratch this thing a few times after you wake up. Ow. Stop that. Ha! You used hypnosis again. Leer. Uh, this could get to be a problem. Yeah, you know what? You come out, we're going to put in somebody who can deal with this slightly better. I should have put in someone who's got a hypnosis. Oh, well. Start with a reflect. You're probably going to... Oh, my God. Fucking A. Okay. That's fine. we just put in uh, desire. <laughs> I'll show you hypnosis. Ha! <laughs> That's fair, isn't it? Okay. Now then. Uh, leech seed it, and then we're just going to start throwing balls. Uh, do 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 do. Uh, yeah, may as well just toss balls until I catch it. Actually, I should probably use a heavy ball. It'd probably be more effective than a friend ball. Because I mean, Stantler's not heavy, but it's not exactly a light Pokemon either. Okay, so hypnosis. Damn it! Ow, Christ! This thing is hard. It's Miltank all over again. 
Okay, I better catch it on one of these next few turns because it's going to die from sleep uh, from the leech seed soon. If this fails, I'll try a love ball. Okay, going to have to try a love ball. Because it is the opposite gender of desire. Oh, how fitting. I think this is my last shot here. Come on. Yes, okay. So, I have a female Stantler. With antlers. Sure, okay. Uh, sure, I will nickname the Stantler. Generate. Disadvantage. That name is too long. Headlight. Headlight returns. Remember, our my uh, neater and female was named Headlight. Funny, I managed to generate the name again. Must be fate. Headlight. Okay, go to the PC. Uh, and we will get ready to fight this psychic. We'll move puppy to the front. And this time we're going to save in case the game decides to freeze again. Matter of fact, I've got to remember, after every, like, after every fight and every catch, I should probably remember to do a regular save or an F1 save, because I guess it's just going to keep happening, which is frustrating to the max, but, well, the things we do with the things we love, whoop, that, I, that was a head button, whoops, if I run into anything here, okay, not to worry, okay, I'm not going to be asleep because I'm going to knock out your Pokemon in one turn. Wow. You see? You see? Aren't we glad we saved? Aren't we glad we saved? <laughs> so we crashed on the same fight again. I really, really hope that this doesn't get to be a habit. Alright, let's try from this angle. Maybe him walking down will cause the game not to freeze. And did I move Puppy up to the front of the fight before I saved or after? Now I don't remember. Okay, I did. Okay, so my prediction, this fight ends now. Yep. Puppy's a boss. Sit down, son. <laughs> I lost. That's pretty sad. There's no shame in losing to a Scyther when all you've got is a drowsy, bro. Hi, I'm Sunny of Sunday, meaning it's Sunday today. Nice! I was told to give you this if I saw you. Obtained the Magnet. That'd be even nicer if I had any electric Pokemon. Sheesh. My sis Monica said it powers up electric type moves. Well, yes, that's what it does. I really wish I had an electric Pokemon. I had two chances to get Shinx and then I failed <laughs> because it didn't. It wasn't on the right day to get a Shinx. Uh, so I don't have an electric type, regrettably. But we did get a few new Apricorns. Oh, yeah, and we just had a fight, so we better do this. Boink. It's going to be annoying if you guys have to see me do that all the time, but it's better than having to reload all the time and lose progress, Lord knows. I've had to do that enough this game. Oh, yeah, um, Puppy has false swipe. Oh, there's the Bulpix I could have had. Now I'm sad. I know I have one viewer who really, really, really wanted me to get a Volpix. I hope this isn't my last chance. Um, we'll have to see, I guess. It's not like there are a whole lot of fire Pokemon running around in this generation. It's not quite as bad as Diamond and Pearl, but it's pretty bad. All right, double fight. <clears throat> Let's do this. What do you guys have? Usually they're, they're... Oh, they're not really matching this time. Oh, I've got a sleeping Pokemon and one that's weak to lightning. Okay, you turn and get out of there. And you can pro you've got such defenses you can probably just suck it up, Fedora, but you know, whatever. Okay. <laughs> Never mind having to worry about the Marie. Puppy just took care of it. Uh but I may as well put in something else now that I've done it. Believe is fine. Plop. And Fedora woke up and dropped them <laughs> Wow, that worked out nice. Oh, that thing had rollout? Definitely double good thing I got Puppy out of there. But single Meryl is not going to be a problem. I'm so confident I'm just going to have Fedora heal himself. <laughs> oh, it's still rolling out. We better take care of that. Disable it, and then Razor Leaf is just probably going to kill it anyway. Not thing to really worry about. Yeah, that that's what happened there. 
So good work. Yep, you guys lost. That was a bit of a... That was a bit hairy, though. I'm glad that I uh, took care of them. Is this going to be a double battle, or is it going to be one-on-one -on -one and then one-on-one? -on -one? Oh, it's another double battle. Okay. So it's going to be Puppy and Fedora again. Puppy's paralyzed. So I think I'll have him U-turn again. Wow, you guys are twins, too. That's crazy. Hmm, this could be trouble. These guys are evolved. Okay, well, you're still getting out of there with U-turn. You go ahead and put up the reflect. Oh, God, metronome. Okay, just whirlpool. No big deal. <laughs> yep, get the hell out of there, definitely. We're going to put Believe in there, because I want to disable that metronome. To hell with that. <laughs> we don't want any of that nonsense. We don't want any of that. <laughs> Go ahead and... Oh, Rachel Leaf hits them both? Fedora, you're the best double battler ever. <laughs> yes, down goes Wigglytuff. Awesome. And disable? No metronome for you. You stop that right now. I don't want any of that nonsense. There will be no exploding in... Oh, God, there's another one. <laughs> Put it to sleep. Put it to sleep. Oh, God. No. No, no, no. Please put it to sleep, uh, Believe. We don't want any nonsense. We don't want any nonsense. There will be no exploding in this battle. Not on my watch. You're not going <laughs> to... I'm not going to let it happen. No explosions. None. Zero. Zilch. Nada. <laughs> I'm not going to let it happen. I mean, I've got the reflect up, which is cool. It would be handy for um, dealing with the whole explosion thing. But, man, I just don't want to deal with that at all. Oh, she has a Wigglytuff, too? Please. I don't think they have... Met I don't think Wigglytuff learns Metronome. Okay, put it to sleep. And Razor Leaf will finish off the Clefable. <sighs> Bullet dodged. We only had to endure one Metronome, and all it used was just... Uh, it just used Whirlpool. I mean, if that had been an explosion, you know, you could say goodbye <laughs> to those guys. They would have been dead. Um, because I think that... Well, I had the Reflect up in time. So I guess maybe they wouldn't have been dead. But, man, that's just not a risk I want to take. Ex Metronome and Explosion are just bad news all over. Whew! Bullet dodged. <laughs> that could have been really rough. Whew. You guys are jerks. Seriously. Ah, yeah, 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 yeah. Very good. Good work, guys. Good work. I'm still. And another. Oh, and a male Vulpix. That's rare. But I can't catch you. Arr, stupid Stantler. Stantler's even a lower chance of appearing, too. That's what ticks me off. Ah. Whatever. Oh, hey. Hey, it's Bill. I just remembered something exciting. I remembered something very exciting. Hmm. I think we're going to be making a side trip back to Golden Rock. Because I remembered something fun about gold and silver. <laughs> uh, let's talk to the rest of these people and see if they have anything to offer us. Uh, before we do that. Anything you? Eh, go away. You're useless. You give me nothing. Morty is so cool. His Pokemon are really tough, too. Yep, I know that's true. So let's make a... Brief trip back to Goldenrod. There's something I need to do. <laughs> Those of you who haven't played Gold and Silver or Heart Gold or Soul Silver, uh, you're gonna love this. Uh, it is pretty awesome. Uh, let me check the Pokemon in my party real quick. You, I think. Don't worry, I'll show you what I mean here in a second. I, I just don't like Drowsy Hypno that much. They don't have the speed or special attack necessary to be solid psychic types. 
when you really need both of those, especially to get off their main combo, which is the Hypnosis Dream Eater. If you don't have the speed to get your Hypnosis off first, you could be you could wind up straight up dead, and you wouldn't even get a chance to use your Dream Eater. So they're, they're kind of weak, in my opinion. And I've already got two other Pokemon in my party that fill basically exactly the same role. So I don't really need them, or need the Drowsy. So I'm not going to... Uh, so the, 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 I'm gonna go deposit believe now. Uh, for those of, like I said, for those of you who haven't played the second slash fourth gen games, uh, you'll soon find out why. Whoops, my bad. Bill's PC. Move Pokemon. Party Pokemon. Believe. You were pretty awesome. I'm glad to have you here and you were a major help while you were here but I'm not gonna need you anymore because I'm gonna be getting something better okay so let's uh, hop on our bike and ride over to Bill's parents house which I remember is over there down he wait oh I should have gone down that path is over here and down here and here it is it's a tiny house What's up, Bill? Hi, Icepick. Would you do something for me and take this Eevee? It came over when I was adjusting Nintendo WFC. Someone has to take care of it, but I don't like being outside. Can I count on you to play with it? Oh, oh, I'll play with it, all right. It's going to be on my team all the way through. Excellent. Excellent. This is exciting. What shall I name this Eevee? Of course, it's male. I think... Seven eighths of Eevees are male, and his name is going to be Committee, which is cool because when you think about it, an evolution is you know. Did I spell that right? Yeah. Okay. All the evolutions are kind of a committee, aren't they? Yes, Eevee can evolve into seven kinds of Pokemon, but only five of them in this game. Uh, you can't get Glaceon or Leafeon because there's no frozen rock or icy rock or no no frozen rock or mossy rock uh, I need to check one thing right quick um let me see how I can acquire a particular thing all right so I was looking at it and it looks like Wednesday is the day I'm looking for up at the pokeathlon you remember I uh, had to farm at the pokeathlon to get myself a uh, leaf stone so I could evolve my executor well I'm thinking of, I've only got really, in my opinion, two options for um, what to evolve this Eevee into. The first option is to evolve him into Umbreon, which would go a long way to making that fight against Morty easier, because right now I don't really have an answer for ghost types, uh, and a Umbreon would make that gym a lot easier, so I'm definitely strongly considering that. The other options are Flareon or Jolteon, because I don't have a Fire-type or an Electric-type at this point in the game, which is kind of a problem, because they're pretty freaking handy. Uh, so that's what I'm considering. Uh, I guess I could consider Vaporeon as well, because Vaporeon is a Water-type, and I don't have one of those. The one thing I'm pretty sure I don't need is an Espeon, because I've already got a Psychic type in my Exeggutor and a Pseudo Psychic type in my Ghost. So I don't really need an Espeon. But all of the others are in play. So all of you people who watch my show, in my opinion right now, I'd say my top two are Jolteon and Umbreon. Because I like Jolteon more than I like Flareon. Uh, and, but Flareon and Vaporeon really are options too. So if any of you can convince me to pick one of those four, that's what I'll do. Um, let, while I'm thinking about this, Eevee, let's actually look at him. Oh, God, level 5. He's going to take a while to grind. But it means uh, if I can get him as what he's going to be early, that'll help. He's got Timid Nature, which is minus attack and plus speed. Oh, man, he needs to be a Jolteon. Oh, my goodness, he needs to be a Jolteon, seriously. Because Jolteon doesn't use attack. And Jolteon benefits from speed. But if he was an Umbreon, it looks like he's got really solid uh, defense and special defense IVs with 11, 11 and a 12. If I made him an Umbreon, he would be an 
awesome tank. He would be an incredible wall if I did that because those are some really good defensive stats. And Umbreon just makes those defensive stats even better, particularly defense. Uh, so those are definitely the top two, I think, Jolteon and Umbreon. If one of you viewers can convince me to go Flareon or Vaporeon, let, you know, it's going to have to be a pretty compelling argument. Otherwise, just vote between those two because I want to get it done for quickly, for sure. Um, definitely before I fight Morty, uh, especially in the case if we decide it's an Umbreon because I can evolve him pretty easy into an Umbreon. I've got the Soothe Bell. I do a lot of my training at night anyway. Wouldn't be a problem. I'd have to farm up a, a Thunderstone to get him to be a Jolteon, but that's not that tough. The only issue is I'd have to either wait until Wednesday to do it or change my computer date to Wednesday so that I can do it in advance, which is a little bit cheesy, but I, I would prefer to do that anyway so I can get him to be a Jolteon sooner uh, because the sooner he becomes a Jolteon, the sooner he starts getting the stats that a Jolteon gets. And Jolteon gets better special attack gains than Eevee does. So it would be better for me to make him a Jolteon sooner. Anyway, consider these things, viewers. And I will see you guys next time. Be sure to like and favorite and subscribe if you like all of those things. Thanks for watching. I'll catch you guys next time.